If you own the Rode Wireless Go and have some sort of shotgun mic, you can pair these two to become an overhead wireless boom microphone. Let me show you how. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Rachel and I'm a freelance videographer living in Melbourne, Australia. On this channel, I share everything filmmaking related, so if you're into that sort of stuff, make sure you subscribe and turn the notifications on. The Rode Wireless Go has been my favorite lav mic ever since it came out. It's super small, easy to mount onto people, and it can double up and be used as a transmitter for an overhead boom, like this one I'm using right now. It's super affordable and the fact that it has multi-purposes in the sense that it can be a lav mic or an overhead boom mic means it's definitely a worthwhile investment. If you haven't already got your hands on one of these mics, I highly recommend it, especially if you do a lot of run and gun shooting. Right now I've got my wireless go paired with the Rode VideoMic NTG. Now this NTG microphone has an awesome feature called safety channel, which records one channel at a lower input. Now, when you do use the Rode Wireless Go with this microphone, the safety channel feature doesn't work, which is annoying, but at the same time, this is a super convenient setup that I've been using heaps lately. That's all for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something new. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up and even subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one. If you've got... If you've got a shotgun mic... Shotgun. Then you've got a boom mic, and I'm going to show you how. That didn't make sense. Then you put yourself in.